Hello, McDaniel Army, and welcome back to my amazing, fantastic, awesome channel. I am sorry for the background noise or the excess background noise downstairs. My fiance is actually on his Xbox playing online right now. So, I have been up here in my little, like, YouTube room. As you guys can see behind me, um, I finally bought, like, a sheet or whatever to block that window because I get creeped out when I'm, like, making TikToks or, like, filming videos for you guys. So, if you just see this, it's not paint. That's where the window is. I know it kind of looks ghetto, but it'll work for now. Um, we just bought a plain black sheet here and then um, thumbnails and just kind of tacked it to the window for now until I can figure out if I want to blind or not. Um, but yeah. So I kind of like did this little angle because I feel like sitting over there where I have been filming videos it kind of makes me look like pale so I don't know I don't know what's going on maybe it's just because I am kind of pale I don't know I need to get some type of sun anyways I'm making a video extra late it is midnight it is Tuesday um, February let's see here February 9th 2021 so I'm making a video kind of late because my best friend she works overnights and I kind of just wanted to stay up with her all night so we ended up going to the store and I bought not one but two um, Bang Energy drinks. I feel like these work better than Monsters do. I'm not sure we're going to try them out but I got Blue Raz Bang and I got Lemon Drop Bang. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video, so, yeah, but, um, I don't know, I've tried Bang a few times before, and I've liked some of the flavors, but not all of them. This one's kind of interesting, it leaves, like, a weird aftertaste, um, I think I tried Lemon Drop before, but I'm not really sure, but I love anything, like, that's flavored, that has, like, lemon flavor in it, so, yeah. Um, I am kind of tired, but we're going to try to stick this out. Um, I haven't really drank this full can yet, as you can hear. Like, there's still some stuff in it. So maybe once I drink the full can, then it'll, like, start kicking in and I'll start waking up or whatever. But my body has gotten so used to, like, energy drinks because I used to drink them all the time. And I know they're, like, really bad for you, but... Bang! <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know. I just kind of wanted to film a video. I haven't posted in a few days, and I'm sorry about that. I just have been crazy busy with work and whatever else. My fiance just asked if I was having fun up here, <laughs> so I'm not gonna like scream. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'm filming! <laughs> Alright guys, sorry for that little interruption. Um, this is real life. So like, I don't, this like every video, I'm gonna say this probably in every video, I don't edit them. Like this is raw, uncut footage of what goes on in my daily life. So yeah, um, we'll see how this bang works. I don't know, I might be bouncing off walls later. Um, she gets done 7 in the morning her time, so it'll be 8 here. Yeah, so it'll be 8 in the morning. So I gotta stay up till 8 in the morning. So I have about 7 hours left, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I might end up crashing, but I don't know. We'll see. Because um, I tried to stay up last week with her. But I ended up going to bed at like 1.30 in the morning. Um, and then, yeah, that didn't really go well. So, <laughs> we'll see. I have been exhausted lately. So, we'll see if these bangs do justice. But, this is, this is pretty great. Um, bang is actually potent brain and body fuel. That's kind of amazing, like it says it right there on the can. I don't know if you guys can read that because of the ring light or whatever. But yeah, I've just been up here filming TikToks, kind of just listening to music on YouTube. Um, and now I'm over here filming a video for you guys. So I don't really have like a specific topic to talk about. 
um, just the fact that, like I said, I'm staying up all night. Like, I worked yesterday from 5 to 2, and I was going to leave early, but um, one of my coworkers ended up saying that it was like a um, double occurrence day, and my occurrence at Walmart is not the best right now, so I couldn't afford two more, otherwise I would have lost my job today. Um, so I just kind of stuck it out, but I did end up coming home and taking a nap. But before I did that, um, I had to go get gas for the car because I literally let it run out to E. Um, this morning when I drove, or yesterday morning when I drove to work, it said it, it had like 20 miles till it needed gas. And then when I left work today, I turned it on and pulled out of the parking lot from work and drove down and it literally was like just a bunch of lines. Um, I'll have to like show you guys one day what I'm talking about. But I ended up stopping at the gas station like closer to home, which I shouldn't have done. I probably should have stopped at the gas station right next to work, but um, I just wanted to be closer to home because... My fiance ended up texting me today while I was at, or yesterday, sorry, while I was at work. All my days are like kind of combined together, um, saying that our pipes froze. So I ended up coming, you know, straight home after I got a little bit of gas in the car um, and talked to our landlord. And our landlord ended up having to get under our house and put like a little space heater next to the pipes. That's how cold it is out here, y'all. It's like negative degrees. Actually, I can tell you guys right now, or like show you, hold on. Let me just pull it up. <sighs> yeah, y'all, it is negative 14 degrees here. Let's just do this. <laughs> negative 14 degrees. I don't know if y'all can see that with my big, um, and now hopefully my city and state is not in that because that would be bad um but anyways if it is we're not going to be here much longer so yeah um i just wanted to say a shout out to every wisconsiner because i cannot live here like i will tell you the state i'm in but i will not tell you the city because like there's crazy people out there that, like, will find you, and they will, like, show up at your front door. Like, yeah, no, I, no, like, creepos. Like, for example, if you guys are, like, a big fan of the Ace Family, I will iCard their channel. Um, but when they first started YouTube, they had to move a lot because there was a lot of people that came, like, outside of their like house gates um so like i said i will i card their channel it will be like somewhere up here or up here whatever there will be like a little i that pops up um and then you just hit that and it'll like pull a drop down menu or something to their channel and um you can just click that and then you can go like scroll through their videos they are an amazing family i actually talked to somebody on instagram um, who won their first car that they ever had. Um, if you guys are an Ace Family, um, you know, supporter or family member, whatever we call them here on YouTube, um, if you guys remember Shelby, yeah, I actually talked to the, to the girl that, um, won her, so she's pretty sweet, um, but I am low-key jealous because she actually got to meet the Ace family, like, every single one of them. <laughs> Even the newborn baby that they had. Well, I don't know how old he is now, but, you know, he's still young. He's not, like, the two girls, is, you know, that they have. But I don't even know if I can say the names. Well, they do. So, yeah, they have a, they have a son named Steele. Um, and then they have two daughters, Elle and Alea. So, you know, Elle and Alea are a little bit older, and, and Steele is just like, I mean, he's still kind of just like jibber-jabbering, if that makes sense. 
you know, if you ever be around babies, they just like ooh and ah, like that type of stuff. So yeah, um, but I'm low key jealous of her because she got to meet Austin, Catherine, Seal, Alea, and L. Like, I would die to win one of their cars or like even meet them. So. If you guys are watching this, hi guys, I love you, you are amazing, I have been a supporter or, you know, family, because, you know, Ace family, um, for a while now, um, and I love every single one of you, and it would be, like, freaking amazing if I could meet you guys, like, it would be freaking amazing if I met any of my you know youtubers that I'm subscribed to or like even you know here to support you know us youtubers have to support one another even though my youtube channel is um yeah. low at subscribers right now like it's just an it's just a brand new starting youtube page um but I know if I keep putting in effort to my channel like I have been my channel will grow and it'll grow and it'll grow and then you know before I know it I'll be at like 10k I'll be getting my first YouTube plaque like what um speaking of subscribers y'all as I'm holding this bang um I hit 100 subs so I wanted to say thank you to every single one of you who are here to support me who are now like a part of the McDaniel army um who are here, you know, you guys are basically like family. Like, I know that kind of sounds weird because, you know, you're just kind of watching me from the screen. You don't really know me, know me. But, like, you, you build, like, a community on your social media platforms. And, you know, we talk to one another on a daily basis. And we build friendships and, you know, relationships, whatever. And it's just amazing. It's amazing. Social media is amazing. Like, there is a positive side to social media. And there is a negative side to social media. And you can't let the negativity get to you. Like, you may have, like, hate comments, you know, or whatever. But just let that be your motivation. Because literally my, my quote is, haters are my motivators. So basically, I take that negative comment and turn it into positivity, positivity somehow. Um, I'm learning to like grow and try to become stronger because growing up, like I had it pretty much, I mean, not like rough, but like I was bullied a lot. Um, my whole life like pretty much from middle school all the way up until high school and I still get bullied as an adult so I'm trying to learn how to grow from that and not let the bullying get to me um, just because like the bullies don't really have anything better to do um, I feel like bullies are just kind of jealous of what you have um, and what you can have and what you can become so that's why they do what they do to you because they're like oh crap they're miserable like they're jealous and there's no need for anybody out there to be jealous of another person or to be so negative towards a person because you don't really know them you're just a person behind the screen watching you know them and like you know if you want to build a relationship with somebody if you want to build a friendship with somebody if you want to be become like a family member with your best friend um reach out to them you know you never know if you can have so much like common interests with each other until you finally reach out to them like I am a huge TikToker and I came across actually my best friend I think she was on one of my for you page videos 
I don't even know to be honest like how me and her came across each other but I think it was a video about um, her losing one of her kids and I commented on it and was like oh yeah I or you know my fiance and I lost twins on December 27th of 2019 due to a miscarriage and then I reached out to her on Instagram and from there on out like we pretty much talk on a daily basis and it's not always about TikTok it's more than TikTok like people don't understand like yeah we may not know each other face to face but like we know each other like if that makes sense so it's crazy it's crazy how social media can bring people together and you know like you become best friends with one person and they introduce you to their best friends and then their best friends become your best friends like it's just amazing like my best friend that is working <laughs> overnights right now that I am staying up for with um, she introduced me to one of her friends and or you know one of her best friends and her and I became best friends and it's kind of crazy because like you know her and I have such close common things I guess you can say I don't know what I'm trying to like reach for but you know like she you know my best friend that I met through TikTok her best friend from back home um, you know I reach out to her on a daily basis and be like I know you're going through a rough time right now um, but I just want you to know to keep your head held high your chin up and that beautiful smile on your face you know because like people go through things on a daily basis that you don't know about and even though they may not respond to you every single day just telling them that you know either through a voice memo or a text or even a video to them you know so they can hear and see your face and voice um will make their day you know and they may reach out back to you like in a you know later that day or the next day or whatever but or like a week from you know when you sent them that but you want to tell your loved ones on a daily basis like a good compliment even though it's the same compliment every single day just maybe like reword it once in a while um like i said you never know what they're going through and you always want to check up on your loved ones that are in your life but anyways my best friend that i met through tiktok she introduced me to her best friend we became best friends and then she introduced me to her cousin and then her cousin and I became best friends and then there's another you know one of my best friends that I met on TikTok I think we met through TikTok I don't know um I forget y'all but like I'm just so happy but anyways her and I are best friends and <sighs> I can't wait to get to every single one of them like I can't wait to move on from this chapter of our lives to start fresh to start new to start somewhere where we haven't even like you know we don't really know anybody like I know people where we're getting ready to move to um, and I don't know if I disclose this information but when we move I probably will because it took me a while to disclose you know what state I'm in but, um, like I said, you kind of just have to be careful of what you put on the internet because there is people out there that are kind of crazy and will show up to your house, maybe. I don't know. I'm not trying to creep anybody out. I'm just saying, like, it's true facts. Like, every... I feel like a lot of people that I watch on YouTube or, like, a lot of people that I watch on TikTok or, you know, Instagram or whatever, they somehow have somebody that... It's kind of crazy that have came to their house or like broken into their house or just kind of showed up at their house and started fights you know they follow you like just be careful what you put out on the internet that's all I gotta say but at the same time reach out to somebody you may have 
come an interest in with um, because you never know like I didn't really have anybody out here that is like that I made friends with the only person I really have out here is my parents and my sisters and you know now my um, nephews and my niece you know did I say my fiance I don't remember <laughs> but you know my fiance and um, yeah so I it's kind of hard to trust anybody out here um, because the town we live in is so small and a lot of people like to spread rumors and you know start stuff and try to break up relationships or whatever so I don't really have any friends out here and it kind of sucks and like all my friends are in different states and you know all my friends from back home in Maryland are now in different states or like we don't talk anymore and it's kind of amazing to meet new people even though it's online but like I said you know my best friend and I like she lives in a different state and I'm gonna get to you one day because I know you probably watch many videos um, you know who you are and um, you know we just built this like amazing friendship and it's just crazy like you know even though we're in different states like all my best friends mean something to me because I have gone through hell and back in the last couple of years and it sucks because I don't have anybody else you know I can't just drive down the street and be like hey I need to crash here for the night they all live in different states so it's like once I get there and you know if I'm like feeling depressed or if I you know if my anxiety is high or something you know I will know that I have best friends in that state and I could just drive down the street or whatever and be like I need to crash here like my best friends know when I'm in a mood and when I'm not in a mood so I don't know it's just kind of amazing um my life has been through hell and back in probably the last few years and I have had so many you know friends in my life um like I say friends because you think they're your best friends but they're really not and they come into your life and then they just kind of leave and you know you're miserable so I appreciate everybody that is in my life right now um that has came into my life for a reason and I am so happy that you guys chose to stick around and continue to choose to stick around. Um, I really don't have much and it kind of sucks. I mean, I have my fiance and my, you know, our dog and our two cats, but like, I don't have much. Like, I don't have family really. Like, I have family, but I don't have family, if that makes sense. We're not going to get into detail because I'm pretty sure, you know, my family watches this. So, yeah, don't take anything that I'm saying offensive or personal. It's just my thoughts, if that makes sense. Um, I love my family, but, like, I feel like my best friends are more my family. And I feel like... <sighs> I don't want to offend anybody because I know my family watches this, but I feel like my fiance's family is more my family than my actual family. Like, don't take any of this personal, guys. Like, it's just how I feel. Um, yeah, please don't hate me. Don't hate me. Do not hate me. Um, but it's just how I feel. So if that makes sense um now I'm gonna feel bad <laughs> because I know my family watches this um but yeah so yeah I don't know what else to say <sighs> that was hard to disclose in this video
that was really hard to disclose in this video. Now I'm probably going to get like a lot of text messages tonight and be like, what do you mean? Your family isn't your family. Like, I told you not to take it personal or offensively. It's just how I feel. Like, oh, you guys, I hate putting this in videos because I know, like, my family watches my videos. I might have to make this, like, video public, but only to certain people. I don't even know if you can do that. Like, yeah, this is awkward now. <laughs> awkward but yeah also like when we move um I'm probably not gonna like tell my family like what you know county or city we're in I might tell them excuse me like what state we're in but I might not tell them what county or city we're in um and I know you guys are probably like, that's messed up. You know, you should always tell your family this and that, da da da, da whatever else. But I kind of want to just take a year or so to focus on myself and to focus on my fiance and I and our relationship because I feel like our relationship has kind of gone downhill um, ever since we lost our kids in December of 2000. 19 I had to think about that for a minute because it has been a year so yeah um I feel like you know our relationship has kind of like gone even more downhill um if you guys don't know we ended up okay so like I do have a story time on my channel so if you guys haven't you know watched that you can go check it out I don't remember the name of it or whatever I think it's like how we met or something um but we met back home in Maryland, um, we met in high school, and then he ended up moving to a different part of Maryland or something, and then he went MIA for a while, and then he ended up coming back to Maryland, um, but basically like his whole life, he lived in group homes, um, he lived with his aunt, you know, he lived with his, um, mom for a while and whatever else. So he was kind of moved around a lot, um, his childhood, but then one day he ended up coming back to Maryland and he ended up calling me and he kept my number that long. Like I answered it and I was like, who is this? And then, you know, he told me whatever, um, but before he went MIA, like, we grew a friendship. Um, he will always be my best friend. He will always be, you know, like, my number one. You know, I'm just saying, like, if anything did happen, like, he will always have a piece of my heart because the day I met him, I fell in love with him. And I just feel like when he was in his last group home, which was like a training work place area, um, the guy who ran it, he ended up like making us take premarital counseling um, because he did, you know, ask me to marry him. Um, and I feel like that kind of ruined our relationship, but then we kind of like rekindled it. And then we ended up moving here and I became miserable. Like, I always will take Maryland as my home. Um, Maryland is where I was born and raised, and that will always be my home forever. But when we ended up moving here, I didn't want to be here. Like, this was basically like our only option at the time because he would have been thrown into some shelter and I would have never seen him. We tried looking for a place out in Maryland, but before you knew it, time was ending for him at his last group home um, because I guess you can only stay there until you were 21 or something or 20 or whatever, like before you turn 21 or whatever. So we ended up just kind of like, I ended up kind of like packing up my stuff and 
we ended up moving here and we lived with my parents for a little bit and then we ended up getting this place that we lived in or we, this place that we're living in sorry and this is kind of like hard to, for me to talk about but we kind of ended up you know ended up moving again basically but like even though like my parents live right across the street like we packed up everything we had in Maryland and just moved here like we didn't even have a chance to like say goodbye or like see you later you know I hate goodbyes it's more like see you later but we did end up going back to Maryland in 2019 to visit and I'm kind of glad we did because my grandparents ended up selling the house um, that I grew up in. That house is pretty much like as old as I am um, so it's just kind of hard to like you know that will always be there but like it's just kind of our time to start our life and yeah I know we pretty much did start our life when we were here but there is no need to be here anymore like I think I'm just miserable now because we ended up losing our kids and you know this chapter of our life pretty much has closed and there's another door opening in another state that we're getting ready to move to but um, I am slowly packing up this house and I'm kind of at like a standstill because um, there is some stuff at my parents house right now and you know we're just kind of trying to save as much money right now as possible um, if we had the money we wouldn't be here like we would not be here like our stuff would have been packed in the car we would have been gone a long time ago and yeah so I'm just kind of at a standstill right now because I'm waiting on my parents to let me know that I can come over and you know my mom wants some photocopies of the photos that I have in the photo album because they're gonna end up moving soon too but I'm just kind of at a standstill like I can't pack up anything else until I get those photo albums and whatever else I have at my parents house um, and then you know we're also at a standstill whoa sorry guys because you know money's kind of tight um, but my best friend she said to just take the tax money that I get back to use for a place and then whatever money we have saved to use to travel but the only thing is we wouldn't be able to move until like the summertime like June July August because it snows pretty much six months out of the year it's cold I am not gonna take any risk to drive from here to where we're going in the snow and especially you know if we have to go through the part where you know she used to live it snows there too it's pretty bad so um, I don't know like I really just want to move in the summertime and you know by then hopefully we'll have the whole house packed I don't know um, but if you guys know I have a 2012 Nissan Versa and it's small um, so we're gonna really have to compact what my fiance and I have to like the bare minimum um, obviously we're not gonna take like the couch and chairs that we have I'm not sure you know we might not even take the bed that we have um, there is a closet full of our stuff but we can't go through that till the summertime um, and then all these walls that I painted on, we're going to have to paint. We can't do that until the summertime. So again, that's another standstill. Um, but I promise you guys, we are moving. We're going to get to where we're going. I am going to like keep talking about this and keep talking about this and keep talking about this until the day comes. Y'all, I am going to record the day that it comes. And it probably won't be, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe the end of this year we'll be moving. Maybe the beginning of next year. 
or in, you know next year in the summertime because like I said it starts snowing in like <sighs> I don't know uh, in January, February, March, April, May. I don't know. It starts to snow in like November, and then it goes all the way up until like April or May, and then like it starts to melt. So. It's just kind of hard, like, we have to plan what month we're going to move in. Um, I don't know, we got, like, a lot of stuff. I just can't focus on one thing. I focus, I tend to focus on 10 million things at once. And I need to learn how to take one thing at a time. So, you know kind of at a standstill and it's just nuts but we're we're going <laughs> we are going I don't want to be here anymore it gets into the negative degrees it's hard on my it's hard on the car it you know it's it's hard on my body um, I don't know if you could see but I have really bad eczema my hands are like cracked um, I don't like the cold and this chapter of our lives is you know coming to an end real quick um, and we're gonna start a new chapter and hopefully things work out when we move um, you know I just wish somebody out there was able to help us with the funds and to help us move quicker. I don't know, we were, I kind of want to rent a U-Haul because we have the dog and the two cats that we need to transfer with us as well. Um, I would be devastated if we had to give up, you know, the dog and the cats. Like those are pretty much our, like not happiness, but like before we even had animals, like, we fought a lot, so they're kind of like comfort animals, um, you know, every couple fights, but like, I don't know, I feel like animals have always been a part of my life and a part of his life, that they just have some type of connection between us, I don't know, that sounds weird, <laughs> but like, yeah, so... Um, we gotta do that, and we're gonna have to buy, like, a crate for both the cats, put the cats in both of the, you know, put both of the cats in that crate, we're gonna have to figure out how to put a litter box in that crate, or whatever, you know, um, and then the trunk, I know we can, like, I, that closet that we have is filled with shoe boxes, um, Everything that was from my room from back home is basically packed up in those shoe boxes. Um, we have a couple of big boxes that we need to put in. And uh, let's see, our suitcases, which are huge. But I know we will make it work. I know we can pack the car very good. Um, I'm better at organizing stuff, and he is better at, you know, just kind of like putting stuff where it needs to go um, when we came back from Maryland we pretty much packed the whole trunk filled with shoe boxes with all of my stuff and our stuff you know whatever into the trunk and then one suitcase in the trunk and then one suitcase in the back seat but it's going to be difficult because we're going to have animals with us this time when we move. And the two cats are going to have to go into a crate. The dog can kind of um, just stay out. We're going to have to get rid of that crate that, sh you know, she has. It's bent up anyways. It's getting old. Um, you know, all of the 
bowls and stuff we feed them with, we're going to have to figure out, we're going to have to leave them out, you know, um, maybe just buy like travel sizes of dog food or like cat food and then once we stop, you know, to let the dog out, um, maybe see if like the gas stations have like travel size, you know, cat and dog food so they can eat on the way. Um, my biggest thing is though, like, our cats are so accustomed to this place. They have pretty much been here their whole lives. I know, like, moving animals, it stresses them out. So we have to be as calm as possible when we do move um, for them so they don't get stressed out and, you know, sick or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm slowly working on packing this house and that's what you have to do little by little you know day by day and it sucks but there is a list in my head you know that we're gonna have to do and I pretty much that room across the hall like that's pretty much packed up um there's stuff that I have to bring to like Goodwill and there's stuff that has to be put into the garbage can um, so the you know garbage people can take it um, kind of like just like old sheets and blankets that are like worn down and you know <laughs> we've had for so long that they've had like holes and stuff in them so I just gotta figure out the best time to get rid of them because I know this is gonna sound gross but like our landlord likes to dig through the trash cans and kind of like refurbish things. Um, I got rid of this like three tier like bin thing and it was like sitting next to the um, sitting next to the trash can and the next day it was gone and I go around the corner and it's sitting you know in his backyard so yeah that's kind of gross but I gotta figure out, you know, the best time. Maybe, maybe in the morning. Well, today is Tuesday. The trash comes. Maybe I should get rid of them this morning, like at like five in the morning. Go put them in the garbage can, and so that way, like you know, six, seven, eight o'clock comes around or whatever, and the trash truck comes and picks them up. Um, yeah. So I gotta figure out one of the days that I, you know, today is a day where I'm gonna probably be up till 8 o'clock in the morning. I just gotta figure out the best time to get rid of them so our landlord doesn't dig through the trash so they can, you know, be gone forever. Um, it's kind of hard for me to let go of things because, you know, there's an attachment to those types of things, but I know you have to you know, get rid of sheets and blankets occasionally because, you know, they get old and whatever else and then, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's great. This video is like all over the place. <laughs> it's probably because, you know, I'm like halfway done with this bang or whatever, so I'm kind of like bouncing off walls and I have a lot on my mind and a lot to talk about and... This video is going to be like two hours long, but hey, I need to know in the comments too, guys, if you like shorter videos or longer videos. I feel like a lot of my longer videos do better than my shorter videos, but there is some of my shorter videos that have done well or better than my longer videos that I put out, which is kind of weird. So... Yeah. Bang, if you're out there watching me, I would love a sponsorship. Just saying. <laughs> I see a lot of people nowadays with um, Bang sponsorships, and it's kind of amazing. But I feel like with sponsorships, and especially with like energy drinks, even though they're like bad for you, um, they're drinking one every day. And I know there's the bang energies that have like no um, 
caffeine or whatever that are probably a little bit more healthier for you. Um, but like I said in one of my videos, I am trying to do a weight loss slash cleansing journey. And if there's anybody out there that is doing like a weight loss slash cleansing journey, please let me know in the comments below like what is good to eat, what is good to not eat. Um, you know, I don't want to put anything into my body that is going to cause effects, if that makes sense. Um, I have a lot of amazing clothes that I didn't get to wear in 2019 that I would love to wear when we move because where we're moving to, it's warm and it's like sweater weather now where it is where we're going. Um, but you can still wear shorts. Like, that's my type of weather. That's what I pretty much grew up on is hot weather you know, sweater weather, rain, whatever, um, but like where we're from, I, I mean, you didn't really have to wear long pants, but, um, you know, it does snow once in a while where we're from, like right now, they just got hit with a really bad snowstorm, um, it's just crazy, the weather in every single state is different right now and I feel like the weather is kind of feeling our pain like it's freezing cold here it usually is snowing here but it's just kind of icy and cold in Maryland it's snowing um, where we're going you know parts of it is snowing and parts of it's raining or sunny like it's just crazy it's crazy think about like these last two years and it's only February of 2021 like have been rough and it's not getting any better it's getting worse um so yeah I just hope it goes away like here in the next few months because I am kind of tired like I want to go places and explore and meet people and you know whatever move um but this whole pandemic is just it's making everybody crazy and I know you can still travel or whatever but like I feel like in order to travel now you have to have a test and it has to be negative and I don't want that thing up my nose no thank you no thank you um or like if you do travel or you do move during this pandemic they tell you to quarantine for 14 days just to be safe before you do anything so i don't know you're either at a risk or you're at a risk and it kind of sucks and i just want it to go away i just want it to go away like I don't want to live in the world where we have to wear masks every day like you can't tell who is who anymore I feel like we're just living in one giant like masquerade ball like it's kind of crazy to think about and I don't even want to think about what's gonna happen you know next year or the year after um, it's just crazy like if you're living in this right now and you have kids and you know they're still young enough to go to school or like you know once your kids get older and they have kids your kids kids are gonna read about this and we're gonna be like we live that like it's crazy it's crazy you know, history is history, and I don't know if I want to live it anymore, <laughs> to be honest. But, you know, when we do have kids, or, we, you know, we try again or whatever, um, we can actually tell them, like, we live this and that, and we can tell them, you know, I can show them my videos of, like, what the shelves look like. You can pull up on YouTube. Any type of YouTuber has gone and showed shelves, like, crazy. It's like, 
mind blowing. And they're going to ask a bunch of questions of what it was like. And we're all going to look at each other and we're going to be thankful that they didn't live that. And like, not to be like weird or anything, but like, we miss our kids a lot. But at the same time, we're thankful that God took them and God needed them up there for, you know, whatever. And they're playing with my best friend's, you know, kids, or they're playing with, you know, other family members of mine that have lost kids. And we're kind of happy that they aren't here, like, because my fiance probably would have never been able to come into that delivery room until they were born. Or, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, we're, we're depressed they aren't here, but we're happy that, you know, they're up in heaven looking over us and that they don't have to live the life we're living right now um but I wish they were here <laughs> we both do so it's just kind of like mixed emotions mixed emotions y'all for real you know, I kind of like don't like this because I kind of want to set my camera up now to like catch the sunrise and now I can't do that because we got this big curtain on the window but we do have the window across the other room but it's negative degrees outside and I believe the outside of the window has ice all over it. So, you probably wouldn't be able to see anything anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. Unless I were to take it downstairs and, like, use one of those windows and, you know, prop it up like I used to. But, yeah. It's craziness. Craziness. This is my thumbnail, y'all. <laughs> You'll see, it'll catch your eye. It kind of has like a weird taste to it. Ugh. But I think it's working because I'm like chitter chattering <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> now I'm sitting here like, what should I name this video? Is that a good title? I don't know. Like, my brain and my mouth are like both talking to each other right now and <laughs> trying to figure out a name for this video but I mean that's every video that I do that I post to YouTube I'm like I don't know what to name my videos y'all like it's crazy so sometimes I have to like go on Google and like think of things to type in and then I'm like scrolling through stuff and I'm like oh that's a good something to put in my title you know crazy excuse me y'all we have been going 53 minutes and 54 seconds and counting hi y'all <laughs> and I'm sorry if I keep like zoning out I was talking about you know happiness and positivity and I don't know if you guys watched my video but on this wall over here I painted happiness and positivity on it so that's why I keep looking over there and then obviously you guys can see this window or this window wow this wall and it says shine and spiritual what in the world oh my god my fiance scared me oh my god Oh my god. Oh my god. Here comes trouble. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hi, Gucci Gucci. I'm still recording, so. Come here. 
Come here. Come here. This way. This way. This way. Come on. Whoa. Come here. Come here. Come here. Up. Oh. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> hi. Your breast stinks, girlfriend. She was sad because she couldn't see you. Oh my god, Margarita and her were so close. Here, go get mama kisses. Get mama kisses. Oh, <laughs> okay, be careful. Hold on, hold on. Come here, come here, come here. What is she doing? Stop, I can't see. Stop. <gasps> Stop, Angel. Oh my god, I thought that was a fucking flea. I was probably like, nope, baby, we gotta get our flea call. <laughs> hey! Don't report my video for that, sorry y'all. What? Because you said the F bomb. I said freaky. Oh, oh. She oh. She don't <laughs> She's like, I died up here so many times, mommy. It's no big deal. Anyways. So, yeah. That's just wonderful. <laughs> She's about to be in the video. No, she won't. No, you can't God, see dang. it. Come on, downstairs. Stay here. There might be a bag in that bag. Yeah, actually, let's see. There. Will you stop? Hey. <laughs> Awkwardness. Awkward. My well, hands really hurt, y'all. Oh, Oscar's gonna be mad at me. We were, we were on there, and I was helping him promote a flow by shirt show night last while. Well, he came up here to see what I was doing, so. No, Angel wanted to come up here, so. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Is that everything? Yeah. Okay. Where's my little spray? I put it in there, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay then. <laughs> that stuff stinks. It starts to smell good after a while. Just give it a minute. His, his, um... Bathroom toilet spray? Yeah. <clears throat> stinks, y'all. It'll smell good in a minute. Just give it. I'm not gonna leave this up here, though. I guess I'm gonna leave up here, but I'm not leaving... I'm gonna say if you put that in there, take the whole bag downstairs and put it downstairs. Or? Put it outside. What's, what bag of chips should I take? My favorite hot Cheetos. My Funyuns. I think I want Whatever you want. Uh -huh. I think I want my flaming hot Funyuns. Yeah. It's probably gonna be on still, so I'll probably get on. But what happened? I'll be like, oh, my Xbox shut off. <laughs> Cause she was she was like running trying to come up the stairs, so I had to turn off the Xbox from up here. Downstairs. So don't shake your head knowing me, dog. Dang. <laughs> she straight said. commercial break or little whatever you want to say so anyways I was talking about this wall so as you can see I have shine and spiritual painted on there um I have spiritual painted on there because um I just want to like uplift myself and know that you know remind myself kind of that our kids are you know up in heaven watching over us um and yeah and then I have shine because, I don't know, my smile is, it like brightens up a room or something, I don't <laughs> freaking know, um, I don't know, shine, like kind of like sunshine as you can see because I have a sunshine there, um, just makes me happy, like, and it also like reminds me, hey, I'm about to be back in the sunshine and the warmth and whatever else, like where I belong. 
um, even though it's going to be like a different type of heat and like different type of, you know, whatever feeling, but, so yeah, it's just crazy, it's crazy, craziness, craziness, alright y'all, have we been going for an hour, yes we have, we have been going for an hour, alright y'all, I gotta like, text my best friend real quick, so, It's 1.09 in the morning, y'all, so we got, hold on, six hours? Yep, six hours left, y'all, and she has five. So I am taking a screenshot right now, and I have been, like, every hour, or at least trying to, upload to my Snapchat story of how long we have left. <laughs> um... So yeah, I'm just going to do that real quick. Put this in here. Get done. Boom. Edit. Text. Save and replace. Modify. Boom. Alright, we're going to go through my um, photos here because I have way too many on here and I need to delete some. And then we're going to go to my recently deleted and delete all these. <sighs> I'm surprised I'm still hanging. Oh, let me re-upload. Re-upload well. Re- um, Pull up my GoPro camera thing so I can see myself. Ta-da! I see you guys. Ooh! <laughs> That's probably just like a ring on my phone. Like, you couldn't even see me. Um, yeah. So, I don't really know what else to talk about. Besides that, I appreciate every single one of you guys. I love every single one of you guys. Um, I can't believe I hit a hundred and I think I have a hundred and two or a hundred and three subs now. So I can't believe I hit that, and I've been staying at that for a while. Um, my goal is to reach a thousand subs. So if you guys can, like, I don't know, keep sharing my videos to like all different platforms, so new people can come and watch my videos. Um, and then if, you know, they like the content or whatever, they can subscribe to me and they can see, you know, different content because my channel is kind of just all over the place. I don't really do just vlogs or, you know, just, um, you know, challenges or just, you know, whatever, but my content is like all over the place. I have time lapses, vlogs, um, unboxing videos. You know all types of different variety for all different types of audiences and I don't know if, it, if it's just me but I love that type of like channels that have like different types of varieties of videos on their channels so I am one of those channels that has different varieties and I love that <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna go, guys, because this video is just kind of all over the place, and I still have to edit it, export it to my computer, get onto YouTube, export it to YouTube, and all this fun stuff, but I probably will be back in a little bit, because like I said, I am going to be up all night, and it's only 1 in the morning, and I have 6 more hours to go, and I think I'm gonna go make some more TikToks, maybe post to Instagram. Um, if you guys haven't followed me already on Instagram and TikTok yet, you guys will have the links to my main account in the description below, and, um, they're also linked on my main, or my, on my YouTube page at the top on my banner, so you can go ahead and click each one of those, and it'll take you right to the page. I also leave in the description box below my beacons website that has my um 
main TikTok, my backup TikTok account. I still need to put all my other Instagrams on there, but my main Instagram account and my YouTube channel as well. So you can go ahead and click that and it'll just take you to the website and you can click each one of those if that's a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I think in my main TikTok account, I have my backup account username in the bio. Same with Instagram, I have my, um, I think in my bio, I have my fan page and my aesthetic page linked in the bio. And yeah, whichever way is easiest for you guys to get to my pages and follow me and support me there because I do post a lot or am trying to post more on TikTok and Instagram. Um, I don't really give my Snapchat out to the public, which I probably should, but I do have like a public profile and my Snapchat is public now. So anybody can see, you know, my stories and whatever else now. Um, so yeah. All right, y'all. You know what time it is. I'm going to go, but before I go, make sure you smash that subscribe button. You know, it's kind of like this big. It says subscribe and it's red and, you know, the lettering is white, whatever. Smash that like button. Share this to your friends, family, pets, whoever you want to share it with. Comment down below whatever I asked you to comment in this video. And that little bell next to the, you know, subscribe button. Make sure you hit that, turn it on to all, so you can be notified every single time I post a brand new video. And I will see you all lovely McDaniel Army troops in the next one. Peace out.